Hi everybody, I'm back. SimCity, Cities of Tomorrow, the first expansion pack. Holy shit, came out about a week ago. I was away at BlizzCon, I missed it uh, when it was released. I actually came back home on the day it was released uh, and didn't get a chance to pick it up. However, I pre-purchased it knowing that I wanted to play it. It looks really, really good. I hope it's really, really good. We're gonna find out. We're gonna take a look and uh, and see if it, uh, if it vastly improves uh, the original game, which was uh, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. I haven't heard anything bad about this. I haven't read any massive complaints about how the expansion pack has been released and it's been some big flop or some big rushed piece of shit. Um, so, so far so good. It might be good. We're going to find out in like two seconds. I'm going to pr press play and... Wow, look at that. We can actually resume Sipswater Valley. We're not going to, though. We're going to leave Sipswater Valley uh, well and truly uh, behind in the past, in like the 1990s, I guess. Or maybe it was like the year 2000, maybe like post Y2K. Everything seemed to be uh, fairly up-to-date and technical, so uh, maybe that was the case. We're going to create a new game, uh, and we're going to try out this expansion pack with all the maglevs and all the crazy futuristic shit. I don't even think there's cars anymore. I think everybody goes around in like these big hover buses and there's like spaceships flying around everywhere, which is pretty awesome. Uh, do we want a big region? Uh, five cities? No. Seven cities? No. Six cities? No. Oh. What's, look at this one. Desolation. Oh, it's like a big desert. Viridian Woods, 16 cities. Holy shit. Uh, Granite Lake. Are any of these new? It's the Edgewater Bay and Granite Lake looks like it might be new. I'm not even sure, actually. Uh, I didn't explore all of the different maps. I sort of stuck to uh, Whitewater Valley, or as you probably know it, Sipswater Valley, which was the original. Not a bad map. It had five cities or spaces for five cities that I thought maybe I would use all of. Turns out I didn't. Uh, Cape Trinity, nice and small. If I want to make a great works, I can. Uh, and it has room for three cities, which is what I was basically working with uh, last time. And it was more than enough work uh, for one person to keep on top of three cities. So fine, let's do it. Cape Trinity. Uh, we're going to name the region. Uh, God. I, it, does, it, does it have to have sips in it? It's, we'll make it a private region anyway, just so nobody comes in and, uh, and makes like uh, some like voo-infested city, which, which screws me over. That would be pretty terrible. Let's call this region um, Tape Crinity, <laughs> or or ta Tapo Crinity. See, you see what I did? Look, I just swapped the letters around because I'm not original in any way, shape, or form. Tape Crinity, it is. We're gonna call it Tape Crinity. This is gonna be the new three-city region uh, where we're gonna explore all the ins and outs of uh, this new expansion pack. Holy shit, Tape Crinity. Uh, what does it have? It has, what's this? Uh, water and wind. It also has more water and wind and, ah, oh, here we go. This is going to be where uh, all of our industry and stuff happens. Well, the, the first industry anyway. We're going to definitely need to get like some oil, possibly uh, some ores and stuff. Uh, or we could just go like all that tourist, like a, a nice beach site. This is an even bigger beach site. Look at the, we can actually build a city on the beach. Uh, Trinity Point, new city. Let's go for that. Let's start off on this beach uh, and see how that works. Maybe we can make like some cool like underwater uh, super submarine that can go like faster than normal submarines because the future. Welcome to the future, by the way. If I didn't welcome you before, this is now the future. Uh, let's do it. Trinity Point, new city. I'm claiming it. Trinity Point. Uh, mayor is me. Active just claimed and we got 50,000 big ones to start with. Fine. We're going to do it. We're now entering Trinity Point, part of Tape Crinity. A smooth supply chain is key if you want to stop the electronics, or sorry, not stop, top the electronics leaderboards. Of course, we never got a, a chance to try that uh, last time uh, because uh, the great work stuff was, oh, look at this. My content is available, apparently. The Roman Luck Casino is now unlocked and ready to use, whatever that is. You can find it in the gambling menu. Have they fixed gambling? We may have to find out. Holy oh, shit, look at this. Okay, so, welcome. Welcome to SimCity Cities of Tomorrow. There are many ways to take your cities into the future. Let's briefly tour all of your options. Click OK to continue. Okay, fine. 
The advanced technology of cities of tomorrow can be found in city specialization view. Fine. Uh, oh, look at this. Mega tower. Oh, mega towers. Holy fucking shit. Mega towers. I've always wanted to build a mega tower. Your cities of tomorrow will tower higher than any others before. New mega towers allow your cities to reach unprecedented uh, massive populations. Click the mega towers button. Oh, shit. We can specialize in mega towers? Oh, look at this. Mr. Mega Tower himself. He's just like, oh, hey, guys, with my fancy sideburns and one lens of glasses, uh, I am indeed Mr. Mega Towers, and I'm here to show you how to build your own fucking mega tower. What a son of a bitch. Mega Towers provide everything multitudes of sims need within one massive building. Stack layers of apartments, malls, and offices in each immense tower. Okay. <laughs> Very much okay. That sounds really okay to me. Omega Co. Omega Co. is the ultimate big business. This mega corporation earns your massive profits by converting your city's buildings into Omega Co. franchises. Oh, cool. Click the Omega Co. button. That is awesome. Holy shit. It's just like Sipsco. Look. It's just like me. Look, I'm like a, a, a really fancy robot. Omega discovered. Convert factory shops and houses across the region into franchises to make a fortune in franchise profits. Holy shit, look at that. You actually get like a little ticker. Profits per hour. Holy crap, that sounds really cool. The Academy is a green high-tech institute dedicated to improving the world through advanced technology. Click the Academy button, okay. Workers at the Academy research new technologies to give you new buildings to improve your entire region. The Academy. Oh, look. It looks like, uh, what's her face? Meryl Streep? Is that Meryl Streep from the Academy? The one and only? It must be. Uh, okay. Uh, give you new buildings to improve your entire region. Sounds good. The Academy. All technologies researched by the Academy need to connect to ControlNet. This quantum wireless network operates Academy tech remotely. Oh, look at that. There's like actually a bandwidth monitor <laughs> for ControlNet. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. Workers at the Academy and ControlNet facility broadcast ControlNet to your city. Keep these buildings staffed to transmit a strong signal. All right. Transforming tomorrow. Place cities of tomorrow buildings in your city to give it a futuristic overhaul. Transform your entire city into a city of tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. That is pretty cool, actually. That Whoa, holy shit. What speed are we operating on? There's a lot of cars and stuff. Short. There's a plane flying by. I'm getting stressed out already. I can't believe it. I've only just started. Okay, great. Well, we can learn from the mistakes that were made in... Uh, oh, my God. I say mistakes. I, like, actually just clicked the wrong button as well, which is kind of nuts. Um, the, uh, the mistakes of Sipswater Valley, trying to balance everything out and stuff. Uh, we might just be able to get everything into one city this time and then uh, make another city that just has everything in it too. Uh, so let's do it. We're going to go, we're going to jump right in and we're going to do it. We're going to get, uh, what do we want here? A high density avenue, a medium density avenue. It's a little bit cheaper. We can probably start with that um, to begin with or even just a high density street. We probably want some sort of... Um, main street to come into here we want to make this look as cool as possible i'm thinking uh is this are the are the guides on i need the guides because i'm a big babby look at this show me the guides oh there they are okay so is this like sort of central here that's kind of central we'll have this like come all the way down here and then uh down into into the bottom of the ocean people can go visit the bottom of the o ocean in this city uh of course we're gonna have to rename the city as well oh hey look that fucking looks different already. Did they add like trees to the middle? It's been a it's been a long time since I played this. Oh my god, I'm getting very excited now all of a sudden. Uh, okay, we'll start off with uh, medium density streets and let's make them arced roads. Uh, do I want to shift arc them? No, we want them to just be arced uh, so they sort of follow the arc of this uh, main highway that's connecting the rest of the region. Look at these nice highway signs and stuff. Uh, let's go for, um, something like, is that, is that too big? They're, we're gonna have mega towers in here, so we might want these to be kinda big. We'll have it, like, come down like this, like this here, and then we'll have another one. That doesn't arc. Look, that doesn't even arc. Okay, we're gonna go big. Or bigger, anyway. Oh my fucking god, look at that. What's it trying to do to me? Why, why... Why? <laughs> Why is that happening? 
I guess it has to be done here then. Jesus Christ. SimCity already is just busting my balls left, right, and center. I can't believe it. Uh, SimCity, if you could please refrain from uh, busting my balls. I don't want to have busted balls over uh, road placing as I did last time I played this. Um, it seems it seems like maybe kind of a shame to start from scratch. Like we could overhaul Sipswater Valley, but I don't know. I feel like if we if we start again from scratch, I'll remember uh, what I'm doing quicker and also uh, be able to explore more of the expansion pack. Uh, because I feel like if I just jump into a big city that's already uh, running and working and I've forgotten what it was even doing, it's going to take me forever. Lots of farting around and stuff uh, that I don't really want to do. So I'd rather just fart around with stuff from the beginning. Uh, and maybe, hopefully, make some good planning choices. That would be nice. It's probably not going to happen, but there you go. All right. Uh, we're good. Draw a residential zone. No problem. We're going to draw a nice big residential zone, uh, like here. Look, we're going to have some houses. We're going to start small, uh, and then we're going to expand outwards. Look at... The city plots are... Oh, actually, that's pretty big. Look, it is, uh, it is actually pretty big. That's not going to be a problem. Okay, great. Uh, so we're not at super full speed. We don't really need to be at super full speed yet. Let's zone uh, some commercial. Let's get some commercial like across the road here for these people to go to. And we're going to need an industrial sector as well uh, for some of these people to come and work at. Uh, we can maybe build some industrial in here. Shouldn't be a problem. What, what are these people talking about here? What's, what's going on here? What's your problem? Hey, toots? Hey, mayor. Don't you want a town hall? Town hall, we can have access. Yeah. Yeah, I do want a fucking town hall, okay? Fine, I'll make one. Jesus. So bossy. I I'm just trying to live here. I'm trying to live my life here. We have no power. We have no town hall. We have no water. Everybody's going crazy. What are these? What is this? Look at this. Look at this fucking control net. Powered by control net. Wave power plant. Placed along the shoreline, this power plant generates small amounts of cheap, clean power. What about this one? Fusion power generates massive amounts of clean power at a huge cost. Fusion reactor requires a jump start of power from an existing source to begin power generation. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Holy shit, that is nuts. Uh, do we want to go solar straight away? 33,000? We don't really have enough to do that. Uh, 8,000 seems probably a bit better. 8,000 bucks for wind power plant. We will do that. Let us get uh, some sort of uh, industrial area set up here. We could probably go for another medium avenue. So to connect down here and then have some industrial branch off of that. I think that'll probably be the best move. Uh, medium density street. We can arc it once again. Let's arc it like this. And then we can build this uh, wind power plant here. That should work, I guess. I hope. Is that going to fit? No, it's not going to fit. Look at that. We're going to have to shove it like in here instead. Uh, wow, it's probably not the best place to actually build uh, the industrial sector up here. Maybe this can just be like utilities and stuff, because look at where the wind is going. It's going to blow all that smog right into the residential area, which is not the best. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll place this wind power plant, and uh, it's hiring. We'll edit it, and uh, we'll place the wind power sign outside so that people know it's the wind power plant. It's very important. Some people don't realize that maybe this is a wind power plant, even though there's a big, gigantic... It says it's a small horizontal turbine. It's fucking huge. I would actually class that as fucking huge. Uh, maybe that's just me, though. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, look, there. It started up. We've got the first trickles of power heading over to uh, the citizens of Trinity Point. I don't think so. We cannot call this Trinity Point. We're going to call this Sipsopolis because it's going to be all futuristic and not Sipsopolis. Sipsopolis. I like that. It really just rolls off the tongue. Look at that. We have three megawatts excess uh, and we can add some more turbines. Look at that. What's going on here? It's not like turning properly. Is it like not windy enough or, or is it just like the speed of the game? It seems to be like going all crazy. I don't know. Oh, oh what's this? A hydro pumping station. Rather than wait for gravity to feed your city water, give it a high-tech boost. This pumping station may require power, but that power brings your city a more efficient source of water than old-fashioned water towers. Uh, bring the future to your city's houses, shops, and factories with this advanced water source. Look at that. 6000 bucks, uh, And it can uh, pump, on average, 10 kilogallons of water an hour. And it's going to cost us 160 bucks an hour to run this thing. And we have to connect it to a highway. 
Well, that's no problem. We can totally connect this to a highway. Look, we can connect it to a highway. We could put it here. Look at all of the water available in this one little corner of the city. Let's do it. Oh, look. Look right away. Look, we've placed this futuristic building, and look. It's like made... It's, it's made the grass greener, and also the roads have some sort of weird, like, pattern on, like a matrix pattern on them. Petition to build the town hall. I wonder if we build the town hall close to this thing, if it'll be like future town hall. Holy shit, the possibilities in this are just fucking endless. It's crazy. Do I want that? No. I don't want this old-fashioned one. Look at this. I've got an eye to the future. This is gonna be fantastic. Look at this. Holy crap, we've got some matrix pattern on the... Look at the street lights! Look at these street lights. Holy shit. Look at them. They look really fucking cool. Why don't they make them like that in real life? It's the future? It's gonna be like 2014 next month. Or the month after, actually. Um, why can't we have these? Why can't we have nice things in the world? Why is it only in SimCity that nice things happen? Alright. Uh, town Hall. We're gonna do it. These people are not happy, and that is because there is no town hall. Uh, we were gonna actually build a bunch of industry up here, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be the best idea now because of the uh, way the wind is traveling. We might have to make our industry uh, like down by the water where all the tourists are gonna go. So, you know, they can just like hop into a factory and buy a shirt instead of buying it from a store because that's probably where the shirts are gonna be manufactured on site by the beach. Uh, just for them. They're gonna love it. They are absolutely gonna love it. All right town hall I think we could probably place over here uh, Do we want to place it over here? Do we want to like carve out a nice section like over here for a town hall? We're, we're gonna carve out a nice section. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be really good. We're gonna carve out a nice section Maybe not like that, but uh, if if it's sort of like there there It's kind of almost playing ball now. Look. It's like following the curve of the road That'd be fine. We've got some commercial there, which means that town hall we can place, like, along that road. It kind of looks like a bit... Uh, it's not, like, perfectly curved, but I think it'll be okay for now. It'll probably be okay for now. Uh, so, back to uh, governments. We want to place our town hall, and we'll place it here with a lot of room to expand. Look, more room than it'll ever need to expand, I think. Plop your town hall. Look at this. Toots here is just absolutely thrilled. So thrilled that she's going to teleport into another dimension of check marks and she's gone. Name your city. Congratulations, Mary. Your hard work has paid off. I know. Look at that. I already named. I'm ahead of you. I don't need to do it. I don't even need this arrow. Thanks. It's all done. Uh, plop one futuristic park and futurize 10 bill. Oh, shit. We can start futurizing straight away. Are these low-income people? They're annoyed that they didn't have any water. That's okay. I think we're, like, sort of on top of that now. Uh, not enough, uh, what did that say? Not enough freight producers. We do not have enough producers of freight, sadly. Uh, and these people are becoming pissed as a result. Also, we have nothing to treat sewage. Uh, oh, here we go. Look at this. Sewage sanitizer powered by control net. Advanced filtration technology allows the direct conversion of waste water into potable water. Oh, grab a glass and don't worry about ground pollution ever again. Wow, we could have really used that in Sip City. Remember that? Oh, look at all the poop that is being manufactured by these people here. The Powells. The, the poopin' Powells. Poopin' like up a storm. The Ruiz residents, the Bagleys, and the Sour residences all... Oh, no, everybody. Okay, the whole road now is just having some, like, shit fiesta. Uh, and there's nowhere for all this shit to go. We're gonna have to pump it out of the city somehow. We'll figure it out. I think first things first, though, we probably want to uh, place a medium density street uh, and and get some sort of factories going uh, somewhere. Uh, ideally, not up here. Um, okay, let's do it. We're gonna put it. We're gonna have what about like another medium density avenue? Kind of running out of money actually, so I might have to just do like a makeshift industrial area down here. Uh, not not like that. Jesus Christ, SimCity, please. Please don't do this to me. There we go, that's better. Okay, great. Uh, we'll just put it right here. It's right next to the residential. They're not going to be too happy, but at least they don't have to travel very far to get to work. Uh, and they'll have some jobs to work at other than the chicken bucket and a vacant business, uh, which is now closed and needs workers. There might be workers on the way. You never know. Uh, okay, fine. We'll leave there for now. 
Uh, exciting times. Uh, we're gonna build up Sipsopolis. It's gonna be huge. We're gonna get mega towers and uh, we're gonna explore all the cool futuristic stuff. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. So far, so good. Uh, it's a lot like uh, the original series, but we've already got a futuristic water tower. And once we start placing futuristic parks down, it'll futurize the whole city, which is pretty cool too. We'll probably do that next time. Uh, so, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more, great. Uh, there's more on the way. Uh, if you don't want to see more, uh, there's other stuff on the channel going up all the time. There's all sorts of uh, co-op stuff going up. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Minecraft stuff with Shin and everything. And uh, I'll be doing Skyrim again very, very soon as well. Uh, as soon as I get around to recording some more uh, and editing it again too. So, um, that's it for now. And... Uh, I'll see you soon!